<clears throat> this video contains language that may not be suitable <clears throat> for people under the age of 13. <clears throat> if you are under 13, please cl click off this video <clears throat> and watch something else for God's sake. Like freaking the big and good YouTubers, like fr freaking PewDiePie or something. Let's get right into the video. What's up guys, it's CG Matthew and welcome to another video. We're coming towards the end of turkey time. The final video is the Big Bang Fortnite event, and, uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Today, we're going to be re reacting to SMO movie Jeffrey's Country. This video sounds interesting, because I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. By the giving Jeffrey a country, does Jeffy take over the country? Does Jeffy secretly assassinate Joe Biden and then and then run but but then again he's 19 years old so that means something he, he's got to be at, at 35 or older to to run but yeah Tis the season for savings on Frontier Fiber Internet oh. with proven reliability. Damn, I'm gonna see you. What do I want to do? Brother, I'm big. I'm a tissue. Okay, here you go. Here you go, Jeffy. Daddy, why would you sneeze in my face? God damn it. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't know. When you sneeze, you grab a tissue from the tissue box. Okay, Daddy. I'm gonna sneeze again. Grab a tissue. Grab a tissue. Oh, no. Jeffy! I said grab a tissue. I did. You're supposed to sneeze into it. You didn't tell me that part. Marvin, calm down. Are you hungry? Yes. Would a McRib make you feel better? Of course a McRib would make me feel better. It's McRib season. McRib are delicious. Well, then why don't you and Jeffy go get McRibs? Oh, you talking about the McRib with the onions and the pickles on it? Jeffy, how about you go get us three McRibs? One for all of us. Oh, no, Marvin. I don't want one. I think they're disgusting. Still get three, because I want two. All right, Daddy. I'll be right back. Oh, hello, trash can. Home sweet home. Right, go get this Mickey D, boy! Mick Ram, here I come! Hey, you hit my house! Oh, shit! Oh, Jeffy's taking forever with my McRib. Marvin, you're just hungry. Hey there. The cops! Jeffy, what did you do? Daddy, you know I fuck up all the time. What did you do? Officer, what did he do? Well, he crashed his car into someone's house. You crashed your car into a house, Jeffy! Why well, didn't see the house? How do you not see a house? Because it was behind me. You're supposed to use your rearview mirror. Oh, how much damage to the house? It's got a pretty big dent in it. Oh my god, how much damage to his car? Oh, it's fine. I didn't see a scratch on it. Okay, whose house did he hit? This homeless guy's. Wait, a homeless guy? A homeless guy doesn't have a house. Well, it's really more of a trash can. Actually, it's your trash can. The homeless guy was living in your trash can. Wait, 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 wait. So, <laughs> yeah! The homeless guy in it, yeah. Okay, then tell the homeless guy to get out of my trash can. Well, see, the problem is, here in Florida, we have squatters' rights. So if a person's been living in a place long enough, it technically becomes their home. And the homeless guy says he's been living in your trash can for the last six months. He surely mailed his name on it. No, 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 you gotta be kidding me. That's not count. He got to live in my trash can. Tell me to get out. Well, I can't do that. It's the law. If you want him out, you gotta give him six months eviction notice. I think it was six months eviction notice. No, no. It's my trash can. I own it. You can't live in my trash can. You're gonna have to take him to court. He has to have time to get his stuff out of there and find a new trash can. I'm not taking a homeless guy to the court over a trash Okay, how about this? How about this? How about I don't care anymore? Just tell him he can keep the trash can. He can live in it. But I don't want him living on my property. I'll just buy a new trash can. Well, technically, the trash can's not on your property anymore because it's in your neighbor's yard. But he did say he wanted to bring the trash can back to your driveway because you have good trash. No, he is not allowed on my property. He can keep the trash can. I'll buy a new one, but tell him he's not allowed to put that trash can on my property. Okay, how about this? I'll check the land survey to see if his trash can is on the property. Line. Yeah, yeah, make sure it's not on my property. 
Hey there, I'm back and I have some interesting news. What's going on? So you see how your property's all in red right here? Yeah. That means it's not part of the United States. What are you talking about? Well, you see, back when the Louisiana Purchase happened, France owned Louisiana and a bunch of other states, but they also owned this little part of Florida right here. So they sold all the rest of that to America, but they forgot about this part. So America doesn't own it and France doesn't want it back. I called and they said no. So technically, your property is its own country. You're telling me my house is its own country? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. So you're going to have to figure out who your president's going to be if you decide to do that. And you're going to have to figure out a name for your country and what your flag's going to be. But hey, look, the good thing is that homeless guy can't stay here because he doesn't have a passport. Unless you want to give him a citizenship or asylum or something. No, I don't want him here. Okay, but I can't get rid of him because this is outside my jurisdiction. So you're going to have to start your own police force and military and all that. Well, no, I want to be a part of Florida. Tell, tell America we want to be a part of them. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. So if you come in and out of your country, we're going to have to set up a customs checkpoint at the end of your driveway. So anything you bring in and out has to go through there. Oh, yeah, and we're also going to have the Coast Guard patrolling in your lake back here so you don't try to swim to America. Why don't we want to be Americans? We are Americans. You know we're Americans. Sorry, you're your own country. So uh, I'm just going to let you guys figure out how your country is going to work because I know this is a lot. There's no way this is happening. There's no way. <laughs> Since we have our own country now, we should be a monarchy, like with a king and a queen. Dibs on king. Dibs on queen. No, there's not going to be a king or a queen, because if there was a king, it would be me. No, I already called dibs on king. Respect the dibs, Marvin. It's the law. Yeah, the dibarchy. We're not going to have a dibarchy because we're not going to have our own country. We're going to go join America and this whole thing's going to end. Oh, Danny, can I go on the country's flag? We don't need a flag. All right, I'm going to go get on it. Come on, Marvin. It'll be so fun running our own country and making up our own laws. But, baby, we have to go through customs just to go to the grocery store. We never leave the house anyway, Marvin. All we do is watch TV. Please, can we be our own country? Please. Okay, we'll be our own country for one day. Yay, I'm going to put on my queen outfit. What queen outfit? Or a day, a draw flag. Pee pee suck land. We're not calling our country pee pee suck land. Pee pee suck world. It's not a music park, Chuffy. Pee pee suck studios. Marvin, I have now dressed in my queen's garments. Take that off. I will not. I am not a harlot. I said that if anyone was going to be the king, it was going to be me. But Mark. This is a weird episode. Marvin, Jeffy called dibs. Tib. Well, you know what? I think we should vote. Who votes me king? Who votes Jeffy king? Me, 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 me. No, I'm the king. Jeffy won the vote. He is now President King Jeffy of PP Suck Land. Well, king, I think we should sell ourselves back to America so we can have rights. No, PP Suck Land will be one of the most powerful forces in all the world. No, we're not because America has nukes. We don't have nukes. Well, we will build the nukes. Good thinking, king. We're not going to build a nuke. Lieutenant Guard, get in here. Yes, sir? Watch this. I'm hearing about a country inside of America. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. That's a uh, PP Suckling. Are they dangerous? Oh, no, sir. I don't think so. They have a hamster and a goldfish on their flag, and their country's named after a fun activity. Okay. Sir, sir, sir. Our satellites picked up PP Suckland discussing building a nuke. A nuke? God damn it, guy. You told me they weren't dangerous. Well, sir, I've been to PP Suckland, and I don't think they have the resources to build a nuke, but the fact that they're even thinking about it means they're planning on going to war. We gotta bomb the hell out of them. We gotta turn their country into a Walmart parking lot. But, sir, I don't think it's a good idea to go to war with such a small country right now. It doesn't matter. We need to find a reason to invade them. Well, we can see if they have oil. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that again. You go over there and see if they have oil or if they're willing to surrender their country to us. Okay. Build the nuclear weapon, peasant. I'm working on it. All we have is Legos. Will it explode? Yes, if you throw it at the wall, it'll explode into a million pieces. Good. Father, I'm hungry and quite parched. Travel to America and get me a McRib and a large Sprite. I can't go to America. I don't have a passport. We must hunt our own land for food. Go fish in the lake, peasant. I can't fish in the lake because the Coast Guard will blow my head off. Aww. Well, our children will grow hungry. Ooh, we can overeat something. They won't deliver to our country. Ugh. Well, I must bang my own mother like Oedipus. Oh, he's who's at the door. Hello? Hey there, PP Suckland. It's me, Brooklyn guy with the United States military. You were just here as a cop! Yeah, well, I'm with the army now because the United States would like to know if your country has oil. Uh, do we have any oil? I think there's cooking oil in the kitchen, and I'm sure there's oil in the engine of my car. Okay, so you do have oil? I think so. Okay, gimme. What do you mean, gimme? I mean, give me your oil. Well, I pay for it. It's mine. No, it belongs to us now. Actually, as a matter of fact, we want your whole country. I'll give you the country. I don't want to be a part of this stupid country. I want to be in the United States. Oh, that's great. But I do need to talk to you, King, first. Speak to the King. Now you can speak to me. I own the house. No, sorry. I know you guys are a monarchy, so I gotta talk to you, King. <sighs> Jeffy, get in here! Hello? 
King Jeffy. What do you want, peasant? Hello, Your Highness. Your Highness. Right. Well, the United States government would like your entire country and all of its resources. No, but Jeffy, give it to him. Well, you do realize there's a bunch of tanks pointed at your house, right? PP Shuck Land will not be intimidated, so if you want war, we accept. Give me your thumb. Oh, no, it's not like a thumb war. I, I mean like a real war with guns and bombs. Well, we accept that, too. No, we don't. Okay, you asked for it. No, we, we don't accept it. Jeffy! Queen, prepare the troops for war. We have no troops, sire. Jeffy, we're not going to war with America. Well, they're picking on us, Daddy. Wow. Now I gotta show them that I have big grapefruit gorilla-sized testicles. You don't, Jeffy. Yes, I do. Oh, it doesn't matter how big your balls are, Jeffy. They can wipe out our entire country by pressing one button. They're not gonna press it because I have big gorilla testicles. Okay, sir. I just knocked on P.P. Suckland's door, and it turns out they do have oil, but they are not willing to be part of America. Well, you know what that means, the guy. Find something to blame him for, then bomb the hell out of him. All right, sir. <coughs> sir, yes, sir. And you tell them to make sure they empty all their goddamn bombs in that little piece of shit country. Yes, sir. Hurry up with that nuke, Daddy, because if they attack us, I want to retaliate. I'm trying to figure out where this piece goes. What was that? Sounds like F-16s. We're about to get reamed. What does reamed mean? Railed and creamed. be king anymore? I'm going to my room. I'm grounding myself. But Jimmy, you can't start shit with America and then make me deal with it. Marvin, I want to be America again. Me too. I'm afraid to go outside. I don't want to get shot. Okay, sir. We bombed them to kingdom come, but we kind of missed the house. Everything around the house is the Grand Canyon, and they have no power, but they're still in the house, and I think they're afraid to come out. Well, let's give them something to be afraid of. Send SEAL Team 6 in there to capture them and drag their asses out of there. Susan, SEAL Team 6. Do we get to crash the helicopter on the front lawn again this time? Of course you do, America! <coughs> get it done! <laughs> oh, boys, we're gonna get in there and take them out. You see a gun, you pull the damn head off. Now let's move, let's move, let's move! This room's clear, let's move, let's move! Morgan, what's that sound? I don't know! Oh my god, Morgan, what's on your face? What is it? Get out of the Ow! Come on! I got the other! Sir, we got them! Did you blow their heads off? Not this time, we're bringing them in. Here they are! We got them, sir. How'd you like getting bombed? Damn, that was just easy. You didn't even have to bomb us, I already gave up! Oh yeah, sure, you're giving up now that you had a good old-fashioned American ass woman! Listen, I don't want to fight, you can have the country. All oh, we need you to do is sign a piece of paper that says that you surrender and we can have all your stuff. Okay, I'll sign it. No, Marvin, we should get something out of giving up our whole country. Listen, I'll give him the whole thing. All I want is that McRib right there. Nah, -uh, man, you better stop looking at my McRib, that's my dinner. Guard, right, give him the goddamn McRib. But sir, it's my dinner! He's trained as a country for a McRib. You better give it to him. You can have my McRib. Oh my god. <laughs> Mathandia. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Twitch. And I'll see y'all next time.